case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The Supreme Court of the United States took center stage in a captivating trial in 1936. The United States v. Curtis Wright Export Corps, grappling with the contentious topic of the president's authority in conducting foreign affairs. At the heart of the legal debacle was the violation of a joint resolution of Congress by Curtis Wright Export Corps, charged with the conspiracy to sell arms to Bolivia during a time of its political unrest. Bolstering the president's authority to prohibit the sale of arms to any nations embroiled in conflict in the Chaco region, the resolution sparked a legal firestorm. The accused fought back, challenging the resolution by arguing it was an unlawful delegation of power. In a twist of events, the lower court shrugged off the challenge to the resolution. With the government unsatisfied with such a ruling, an appeal was launched, setting the stage for the Supreme Court to weigh in. The Supreme Court, headed by Justice Sutherland, delivered a landmark ruling. They concluded that the President's proclamation, made in line with the joint resolution, was lawful. A second proclamation by the President, they further stated, was not sufficient to overturn the initial resolution. Dubbing any offenses committed under the initial proclamation as prosecutable, the court argued that the validity of the resolution was confined to the period defined by the first proclamation. The Supreme Court thus reversed the lower court's judgment, ordering a return to the trial for further proceedings. The case served as a powerful testament to the president's authority in foreign affairs, culminating in a ruling that continues to be referenced in legal discourse. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.